Well, thanks, Ron, for you know having us today. I'll just speak to you for a while because I think you're quite an interesting guy. So, can you can, can we start off by can you just tell us a little bit about your sort of upbringing, your where you were born, and you know yeah. um, how it all began? Well, uh, I came from a very small town actually. It's called Nieuwegein in Holland. Yeah, very small town. Uh, I have lovely parents. Um, in the town, there's not much to do. Yeah, so the thing we always did is training. We had a good karate school there. So, yeah, I used to train there, and um, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, we come, we come, I come from a very normal family. Yeah, not like a, a rich family or whatever. Very normal people, and uh, very happy about that. Yeah. We never went on holidays. So what? we appreciate a lot of things. What do your parents do? My parents, my father works at the social service and my mom is uh, like a housewife. Yeah, yeah. A big family? Or? Uh, yes, I have a brother and sister. Uh -huh. Yeah. Are they, um, are they into training as well? Or? Uh, it's different, yeah, they have different Dif interests. Different yeah. style. Okay. Yeah. So, wh so when did you begin your training? When did all the, the, the martial arts start? And was it just martial arts or was it gymnastics as well? Or was it a mix? Uh, well, the, all the other stuff, what, what is not basic, that came from movies. Mm -hmm. So I had, uh, I had a good karate teacher, right? It was Kiyoko Shinkai, karate. Uh -huh. But besides that, uh, I look a lot of action movies. Right. And just copy those fights and, uh, and make your own choreography and do some crazy stuff. And yeah. Even try to make your own moves yeah. and do something crazy with the body. But that causes, caused some accidents as well. Yeah. I got some injuries there because of that. How long were you doing the, the karate for? Uh, ooh, a long time. From 12 till 26, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. And what, um, what, what grade did you achieve in the end? How far did you go with uh, it? I got the second degree black belt in that. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I, I focus more on the free fight. It's now the modern MMA. Right. But in the 90s, they were experimenting with uh, free fight. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a mix of everything. What you see in blood sport. Right. Yeah, and they started to have those first matches, and uh, I did one of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I won, yes. but I was quite, uh, yeah, my face was a little bit uh, destroyed, but uh, that was okay. Yeah, because I, cause yeah. I was, I was going to ask you, did you do many fights? Did you do many tournaments? You know, yes. Were they, what were they like? Were they full contact? And I'm very happy because I always love to do tournaments, and it's very important, like if you play action movies, that you know how to spar, right? How to, how to, how to fight for real. How to punch and kick. Yes, yes, and how to know, how to know that kind of game. Yeah, and also the moves in between, because else the fighting can look quite stiff if it's choreographed. So you need yeah. some kind of like fake moves in between, and you need that kind of yeah, that kind of the behavior. Instinct, yes, fighting instinct awareness. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, like Bruce Lee or something. You can yeah. see like there's an animal aggression. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta put it in there. That adds to it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm very happy. I got uh, experience. I did a lot of karate like, tournaments when I was young. I got Dutch champion one time. Okay. Yeah, I won this free fight match, and uh, we did also kind of freestyle tournaments. Yeah, so you can fight a kung fu guy or yeah. a karate guy. And that's very so, interesting. In Thailand, they don't need it. They could send it to England. It's better. Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, like this is going to be difficult to edit. I tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you need some butt machines then. So Ron's we ten do. best yeah. English girl jokes we could do at the end yeah. as, a, as an extra. Yeah. Oof. Um, yeah. <laughs> So controversial, we're going to get us in trouble, Ron. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I should hate, be honest. Hate yeah. mail from the... Yeah. What did you I'm say? I'm okay, they hate me anyway already, I think. So, so who, were your, who were your main influences growing up then, would you say, martial art-wise? Who did you, you know, study and watch and who sort of made you want to get into it? Yeah, well, I always liked Bruce Lee and, uh, and, uh, and Jackie Chan. I saw the movie Young Master, which was really great. Yeah. The whole atmosphere of that movie was such so amazing. So I started to make my whole room uh, like a Chinese style and painted like the signs on the wall and and then Van Damme came and that was it. He was like the first for me, the foreigner. Okay, we had Chuck Norris, but the first foreigner who really was outstanding in, uh, yeah, he had a good like a uh, physique and yeah. he's, uh, he can do the splits and the leg holding and and uh, that was just great, like blood sport was. Yeah. I watched that movie so many times, you don't hear the sound anymore. Yeah. Uh, this, this old cassette tape, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think kickboxing was the other one that people liked, didn't they? And they yes. come here and that's great as that well. Influence yeah. them. Yeah. You know, the th Thailand. Yeah. And you can ask my parents; they got they got crazy from it. Yeah. Kickboxer and blood sport. Yeah. Too. 
So, so what happened then? When did you decide to go to Hong Kong? How did that come about, and when was that? Well, actually, uh, actually, Jackie Chan came to Holland, but after the movie Who Am I? Um, the movie business is always a little bit strange. Uh -huh. right? uh, I had some trouble to get into movies because the Jackie Chan, my stunts came out. Yeah, that was behind the scenes, which was not so good for me, and uh, yeah, it was not. I was not happy with that. So. I took the initiative in my own hand and went to Hong Kong to gain more experience then. Yeah. So if you want more experience, I'm going to get it then. Okay. So when, yeah. when was that? That was in 19... Oh, sorry, in uh, 2000. Okay. Yeah, so I saved a little bit of money, but Hong Kong is expensive. Yeah. And they told me there would, there would be a movie. If I go there, I can play a movie, but the movie was delayed. So I ran out of money there. Yeah. So... Well, I was so I believe in destiny. Really, yeah. I believe in that. Uh, you can make it if you, you can make it. Something will happen. Yeah, it? I, it, it's the, crazy. If the intent is there. Right? Yes. The universe yeah. will. You know, if yeah, you put the right energy, you'll get it. You'll get it back. It's karma, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So I, I was walking on the streets two days before I had to leave back to Holland, yeah. and I saw John Woo office. All right. I think, hey, I'm gonna go inside. I have, I have nothing to lose. I have to do it now. So I went inside, and they were preparing for a boxing movie. And, uh, which was not my speciality, but they needed like a tall Russian guy. And uh, maybe with a Dutch accent, right? It looks a little bit, uh, yeah, the same. So I say, yeah, I, I love to do this. And, uh, but I, I don't have money anymore. I told them honestly, I have to go back Holland. They say, you know what? If you can stay like one more week, yeah. we'll give you a little bit of money now. And uh, we believe in you. And uh, so I could stay longer. And then I got the other movie as well. Got more money and stayed as, uh, like two, three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got like three movies. So, what was the first movie, and then when did Who Am I come into that? How, how did that? Well, happen? that was the first movie. Really? So, I was thrown into something which I never did before. It's quite big. Yes, and working with Jackie Chan, still till now, is the most hardest. Yeah. Right? I, I work with many people, actually. I'm very fortunate, but Jackie Chan was tough. In a good way, yeah. right? He's yeah. demanding, but. Yeah. Like you have a combo of, you can imagine, you have a combo of 20 moves, five minutes before they show you, one, two, three, four, five, duck, pop, look this way, walk this pattern, ready? Okay, do uh, one time, right? Yes, Once. let's do it 50%, speed, okay, 80%, okay, ready, and action. And you're like, hey, it's ready, like, action? It's, it's, like, like, it's like learning a pattern in five minutes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like that, yeah, no, it's ridiculous. And, uh, and the thing is, people are touching you, it's the makeup, and, and you gotta yeah. be so focused. Yeah. And the first movie that that's hard. So yeah. I was practicing on the toilets yeah. there, and uh, and um, yeah, and they doubled me for for a few kicks in there, which wasn't really necessary. But okay, timing wise, and I understand. And, uh, but they don't show Jackie's doubles there. Yeah, he had right. four doubles. Why they don't four. show that in my stunts? Yeah, that's a little funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if it's really my stunts, they should show his stunt doubles. Yeah, yeah so it's a little bit. Okay, but I know how the business works, so yeah. that's how the business works, so um, it's okay. But they told me, after my stunts, if you change your name, you would have get more movies than if you would be uh, Ron Smallenbosch. Sure, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, a little bit more about that fight, because I've, yeah. I've watched that many times, and I just love that. It was on a rooftop. Yes. And it, I, it, who, whose idea was the, the leg coming up and then the shirt comes on and then the... Uh, that was, uh, well, in the casting, uh, I showed the leg holding and... Uh, they liked it? Yes, that, that's, uh, I got some record of the highest kick and uh, they showed that on the videotape. I, they saw that and uh, they, they, they asked me to come to a special room and they asked me, Ron, what can you do? So I had this kind of leg holding thing in steps. I had this kind of form on music. And halfway that form, the music stops, and then I do on the heart, tuff, tuff, like the leg holding. And that gave them the idea to do that. Yeah, that's on YouTube, I suppose. Yeah, it? with the jacket. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you saw it, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought it was cool. It was just such a crazy angle, you know, you're standing there and your legs up like that. Yeah, it's not exactly 180 degree, but if you do it from the front, right, it looks like that. Yeah. And uh, that was tough. The next day I had, I had, my body was full of pain because I had to overstretch yeah. to get that. To hyperextend everything. Yeah. It was nice the way that you did. They, I noticed there was a, a mixture of arts. There was like the shin kicking as well and the blocking, yes. which was just. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. Because the, the, uh, well, where, where did that idea come from? Because like, that's really Muay Thai, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I think that was his idea. He is, he's full of ideas. He make always make small notes about what he's want to do, yeah. 
And actually, that was a funny trick. Because we, we didn't really touch each other that much. We had like um, some elastic bands on our leg. Really? And the full extension, we couldn't hit each other. So we could really act like we go for it, like pop. But yeah. we didn't ever hit each other, actually. No. So you said, if you hit me, you're going to get fired. Really? Yeah. Because it was like, who's got the hardest shins, kind of. Uh, yeah. Is that, that's what the, the, the concept was. was yes, it? yes. Trying to outdo each other's legs. Yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't sure with you. I thought you were using shin pads. Uh, we had them as well, but we didn't really touch. It was very, very yeah. lightly. What's he like, Jackie, to actually fight? I mean, is he? Can he punch? Can he really kick? I mean, I mean, he's quick, but has he really got power? I mean, what's he? What's he actually like as a fighter or a trainer? I think he's uh, very fast, but I never really got any hard kicks from him. No. And I promised him I would never hit him, but I think he was a little bit. Yeah, maybe he got at some point a little scared. Like, stay there at your yeah. place. But I, I, t I tell him I would never hit you because I, I did the control with the legs and stuff. But he's fast. His punches are like, like one, two, three, four, five. It's really like yeah. fast. Yeah. Different, different rhythm, right? Is different that... rhythm. Yeah, it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, yeah. one, two, three, four, yeah. five. It's yeah. a little. It's a Chinese rhythm, I guess. Yeah. They expected you to just pick it up like that, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's funny to compare. Like like I work with Van Dam and Tony Ja, right? And Gary Daniels. They all have different rhythms. Thai is much different. You cannot go that fast. It's like bam, and then pop, and then the knee, and then it's much more. Yeah, it's much power. Yeah. 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 So when I do some Thai TV series here, they said slow down, slow down. It's like you're yeah. too fast. We cannot catch it. The Chinese kind of flow because of all their forms and the wushu, yeah. and but the the because of the Muay Thai, they used to just everything's hard, bang, bang. Yeah. Everything's you know one, two, three, four. Whereas the Chinese flow a lot quicker, don't they? Yeah, I have to slow down here, really. It's like, uh, I love to do fast, actually, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it, it, how long were you in Hong Kong, and um, when did you decide to come to Thailand, and why? What happened there? What was the transitional period? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. The transition um, with Hong Kong... Well, well, after Hong Kong, I was there for about one time two and a half months, and one time one and a half months, because I had to come back for another movie called Martial Angels. I was like a main boss there. Okay. But to be honest, my acting at that time wasn't that really good. I was very flat. I was only focused on fighting. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Now lately, I, I'll develop that more. But anyway, I went back to Holland. And um, in Holland, it's difficult because there are no, not many martial art movies. Yeah, so <laughs> to make a living. And uh, I wanted to have it all. I wanted to have a family. And uh, okay, we made the first Dutch martial art movie called Fighting Fish. Holland. Yeah, yeah. Right. Didn't, it, well, it didn't went so well, but okay. I just missed Hong Kong. I just missed the, the whole vibe of Asia, because they appreciate martial art movies so much. I, I, when my boss wasn't there and I was in the office, I had to work in the office as well, right? I was swapping the website. Like I want to see the Hong Kong streets again. I want to have that feeling. Yeah. So um, yeah, I really wanted to go back. Uh, I was just dreaming about it. So I was with my girlfriend. But so you think the environment definitely helps you to kind of motivate you yeah. to get you in that, that, that state? Yeah, that's the praise Bruce Lee was and Jackie Chan and that whole vibe of Asia. It's, 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 it's Europe is different. Yeah. So what I did, I had the chance to go to Thailand for a TV series and I did it. Yeah. At that time my girlfriend said to me, you know what, you stay there. I put your stuff already outside. I said, well, okay, then I stay. Yeah. 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 Was that, was, that the, was that the series where you were in a taxi? That yeah, that? that's yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really yeah. like that, man. Actually, that, that's, I mean, I saw the scene on YouTube because there's a lot of tension before the fight scene comes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of interaction between you and the taxi driver. Yeah. And there's comedy because he's yeah. like, you know, oh, hello, Farang. <laughs> Welcome to the land of smiles. And you're just kind of there with you. Oh, and yeah. And you land can of see smile. You're, you're getting more. Yeah. And you know something's going to happen, you know. I, yeah. liked, I thought that was good. I thought it was great. You know. Cool. Thanks. And the fight scene was good. You know. But yeah. that build-up was interesting. It was nice. It was kind of paradoxical. And, you know, yeah. It was like a bit of comedy. Yeah. And <laughs> we didn't know whether you were because we don't. We didn't know whether who you were. That was. Yeah. That was interesting. It was an unknown factor, right? Mm. Hero or villain. Exactly. Know, yeah. You know. It was an interesting. It's sort yeah. of a bit more versatile. Yeah. 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 Well, he picked me up from the airport, and I was a very serious guy. Well, most foreigners. 
they're quite serious yeah. when they come here. Yeah. They leave different. They leave with a smile. Yeah. Right? yeah, and they come with a frown, right? Yeah, yeah they, they come with a smile. frown. But it started to change. Turn the frown upside yeah. down. But I was frowning a little bit when he said, hey, uh, length of smile. I said, well, what, are you, what are you talking? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you were playing on that. And that, I think yeah. that's why it was funny. People recognize yeah. that, you know. Everyone, right. Everyone's been in the taxi with them. But after I break his neck with a smile, so that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was it like um, working with Tony Jaa? I want you know how, how did that? Come oh, he's out? great. Tony Jaa is a special guy, and it. I, I'm not surprised uh, that he's in this position that of being a, a superstar and yeah. getting more known around the world for this. Uh, this guy keeps training. On the set, he keeps going. He's humble. If he hits you, right, he kicked my teeth out. Yeah. Cool. Some, some. It was already loose, but he, he helped me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he's very humble. He said, "Oh, sorry, this and this." And in Thai, they say, "Kotot." Yeah. yeah. He said, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, but very nice guy. Absolutely and uh, but humble. How powerful, right? But powerful. He's a small guy, though. He's I mean, a small guy, but when he hits you, yeah. Nothing compared to any of the other guys. Really. Even bigger guys. Yeah. Nothing compared to. So he can genuinely generate that body mechanics yeah. to get yeah. out real, real functional yes. power. Because I, I saw a photo yeah. of him the other day on Facebook, and he was in between two of the guys who were working here, and I couldn't small. believe how small he was. Yeah, he's Not small, only short, but powerful. He really like yeah, he Bruce, well. Bruce was small. Yeah, you know. but still just so, so much power, right? Yeah. So, so probably more inner. What I mean, was yeah. that your? What was your first big film? Was that in in Thailand? Was that? With the first one is actually who am I? Who am I? Yeah. yeah. Right. But but yeah, to get on the Tony Jaa one, I, I yeah. had to talk to the director, and uh, I, I found out where the set was, and I did the same as I did in Who Am I? Just turn up. Just turn up. I was an extra before in Who Am I, right? And I turned up, and and I asked Pracha Pracha Pinkel, the director there, she told me, show me some stuff, and I did it, and we had some talk. He said, I'm I'm worried that Tony Jaa is going to hurt you. I said, come on, he's going to hurt me. I said, come on, I did free fight and stuff, and uh, I will do it. He said, no, he, I, I'm really worried he's going to hurt you. And actually, he kicks really hard, yeah, and full in the face. They would never do that in other movies, but I accepted it, and uh, it's a different style. So that's the way he works, he would deliberately yeah. make contact with a kick in yeah. the face. Yeah, 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 if you, if you check his stunt team, uh, it's all funny. They all have injuries here and on the limbs, and yeah, yeah. it's like souvenirs. So, so what did you actually do do with 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 Jar? What? Okay, I had three movies with him. Yeah. Uh, one was uh, was Tom Yam Goon, of course. Yeah. There was the thing is, it was an end fight with many guys in there, and they already shot the rest. So yeah. they said, we can give you a feature in that. I said, okay, that would be great. And we did a commercial for Thai food. So he beat me again then. Um, there was a movie. He was like a featured actor in there, and I was there too with Mam Chok Mok, Mr. Famous. Thai comedian, Mam Chok Mok, yeah, yeah, it's called Bodyguard 2, yeah. Oh, that's right, there's a scene in a supermarket, is that correct? Yeah, I was with, with some guys there and I mm. had to stop the bodyguards, like I said, yeah. okay, wait, and then we attack him, I think he hits me in my throat and it's over, just yeah. for fun. Did yeah. he injure you that time or was it okay? No, that, he was okay, no, he, he's okay. So, yeah. so, yeah. so you would say that the difference then between the working in so like Hong Kong yeah. and Thailand, what what were the main differences and which do you prefer? Oh, well, there's there's a big difference. I prefer both. I don't know, it's a different style, but, but yeah. I actually like to get a few hits. It makes the acting easier, right? If you get really a good hit, here, bam, it's like method acting. If they not hit you and yeah. you have to do that, it, it, it's a little it bit fires, more difficult. It fires you up, right? Yes, it yeah. It an emotional response. You know, right? And you're, you're more in the fight. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. yeah. You get more into it, yeah. and uh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit uh, <laughs> sado masochistic. How you call no, it? No, in no, no. Masochism. I like yeah, it. I like no, it. No, I, yeah. I think it, that makes sense. You know. Yeah. For sure. But also for the opponent to be able to hit me is uh, is is interesting because they they can go for it. Yeah. 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 So, um, what do you think of the the standards now of movies in uh, Thailand? Do you think they're getting better? Uh, actually, they, they were quite good level, like uh, Ong Bak at the time. Yeah. They got to be careful with the stories, I think. They got to come up with, they, keep, they have to keep coming up with good stories. That, that's the, the, the thing. Because if you have a movie only fighting from begin to end, even if the fight scenes are good, you can't keep people do that for, for too long. 
So you got to have a good story too. I think they realize that now and they're working on that. Yeah. Yeah. Got to keep people yeah. in, in, involved. Yeah. And yeah. also to, uh, to branch out and hit that wider audience as well. You, yeah. you know, like sort of Falangs were watching on Bat and Tom Yang Goon, weren't they? Because they, yeah. it was a bit more, it was a bit more intelligent. It was a bit yeah. the, the photography and that was amazing as well with the elephants and I mean yes. the, the photography is wonderful yeah. in that film. You know, even I mean better than a lot of the Hong Kong stuff. I thought the ties are very artistic, aren't they? Oh, it's awesome. And the photography yeah. was really nice. Yeah. And that end, that what very I was impressed dramatic. with was it? Is it Tom Yang Goon? The, the scene Tom at Yang the end. Goon. 15 minutes on just one take I mean that was very impressive and the guy's falling off the thing I mean that's you know it's a master to, to do, I mean I, how, I mean how many times did they retake that it must have I think they, they they rehearsed it a lot but I think they shot it five times but, yeah. but uh, it's very tough I mean you can see even Jar at the end he's he's tiring isn't he you can see he's like there's, there's, it's amazing and they're making little mistakes but they keep going because they want to get it yeah. in one take yeah I mean that that must yeah. have took months I heard stories from behind the scenes of that scene right when he go on the stairs and people had to put mats in from below at yeah. the right timing so people fall and they yeah. fall on the that's mats. right that's right take it out again and then the floor because it's undone on one take yeah you see the floor then it goes up the guy comes down and then he bounces. Yeah. So they've obviously put yeah. it in between the camera panning up and down. They've gone. Exactly. I mean that is, uh, you know, huge coordination, high level yeah. stuff. Yeah. When the guy falls down the, because it's like it's like a condo, isn't it? Yeah. it? Spirals up and he goes he goes all the way down. When yeah. Jar flips him off. Yeah. And that is uh, the phenomenal scene. That is. Action wise, they always try to come up with something new. Yeah. 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 What do you what do you think of chocolate? Did you see chocolate? Yes, that's a good example as well. You see the girl sliding right under the table, yeah. and they, they, they try to come up with some new stuff. This b-boy guy is in there doing some crazy thing with his neck. Yeah. I like that. I like that. And the phalanx are getting involved now. Bangkok Adrenaline and. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the other one? <laughs> um, Bangkok uh, Nightmare there's, or something. There's 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 Bangkok Adrenaline. There's Fighting Fish. This movie. Yeah. There's a few other one and. Um, well, the thing is, we have good stunt guys here, and some of them started to do their own production. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, 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 it goes quite okay. Uh, I mean, the budgets are not that high because they have to give the people a try first, see how it goes. Yeah. But I think it's developing very rapidly now. Yeah. And I think they're going to come up with some good stuff in the near future. I mean, there's a lot of Westerners getting involved. I mean, that Bangkok Adrenaline, I like the, you know, the, the, the tailboats and this tuk tuk's quite an interesting scene. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that? I can't remember the guy's name that's in that. He's, he's English, isn't he? The, the guy. Oh, Daniel O'Neill. It's Daniel, yeah. They do, they're doing yeah. the. It's more like tricking. The, 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 yes. They're, they're, they're from a tricking background yeah. as opposed to a fighting background. Actually, I was action director on that, oh, but they stole right. my credit. <laughs> oh, really? Welcome to the movie business. Yeah. But okay. They paid, okay. They paid you, though, right? They paid me, yeah. but they steal my credit because I think the director was a little bit. Okay, he wanted to have his own. Whatever credit or idea, but anyway, let's keep positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I did the choreography for a lot of scenes there. Right. I, I just yeah. thought that was quite interesting when I saw that yeah. because it was interesting the way that these the foreigners are getting involved, and then you have these collaborations. Perfect mix. And it was um, quite interesting because you yeah. would never, you would never have, you would never have seen that yeah. ten sort of years ago. Yeah. You know, it's all, it's all evolving, isn't it? In Absolutely. Front of such a speed. Yeah. The first fight scene we did in Bangkok Adrenaline, uh, that was the first shooting day, was with 10 foreigners and like 10 Thai guys fighting each other. Yeah. That was, uh, that was, that was hard, but we did it. Yeah. 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 And it worked out, I think. I, I mean, you know, you, you seem very versatile, Ron. Are, <laughs> are, are, are you going to kind of branch out now? What are you, yes. Are you going to get involved in other, other things? Yeah. I was very, um, a little bit cautious by doing that first I, I really wanted to make sure I have enough experience yeah now I'm in a stage that I work with almost all of the major action guys right in the movies and I saw how they work and I think yeah it's time to branch out and I got my first opportunity two weeks ago in England I had to play the Russian character called Sergei and he's Russian he's a Serbian Russian he's a pimp and you have to slap some girl yeah. And that was fun and uh, I think uh, I really focused on the acting on this one. The first time I really focused on that and the director was so happy. And for me this is a, like a second step in my career. It was, yeah. I'm going to focus more on that now. Yeah. 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 
because you got to be a character. I did a lot of stunt doubling before. They never see you. Yeah. You, you got to be a character. And this is the step two, part yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So you enjoy just acting in oh, that I role love as, it. A, as a, a real dark guy with a very dark heart, a black yes. heart. Interesting. It took you into a new area, right? Just a, a new area, yeah. and I got I had a good acting coach because before I would do something like, hey, give me your food or something, yeah. right? Very. Yeah. But he said you don't need to be like that. You yeah, just be cool. Psychological, right? yeah. yeah. Shut down. Like yeah. <laughs> right, very yeah. because yeah. your body's already like yeah. that, and from there you can build it up. Yeah. You can be more angry, more angry. But if you already start like, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah where'd you go? That's that's already the roof. You cannot go more. Yeah. Make so if it's soft, it becomes yes. more sinister. It has more yes. sinister like potential. This, yeah. 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 <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those so, girls got scared. So you can develop yeah. it. You can progress. Then you can add layers to it. You know, yeah, and be a little bit crazy deeper. and un unpredictable. Sort of exploring yeah. yourself, really. Yes. I think something I could suddenly push him and say, "Hey, yeah. you know what that looks like?" Yeah. I think it was Brad yeah. Pitt. I was listening. To, I was <laughs> Sorry, listening. I'm still into it. No, I agree. Yeah. I, love it. It's from, I love the Joker in the Dark Knight. Just, just, yeah, like just, that. Just yeah. because he's still so sinister, yeah. and you don't know what he's going to do, yeah. right? And, he, and he, he's 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 yeah. very soft and he's very um, yeah. he's fluid, and yeah. then he suddenly just goes absolutely crazy, yeah. and he does his pencil trick, you know, when he grabs the guy and in, in oh yeah, the mafia guys, and just you know, da da, makes awesome. the pencil disappear. Yeah. yeah. Well, I watch clips also on YouTube. What are the yeah. ten best bad guys? Yeah. And they were not fighters at all. They were very psychotic. Yeah. They were yeah. like, yeah. I, th I thought Brandon. I, love it. I yeah. thought Brandon was quite good in The Crow. Yes. Yeah. I thought his character was quite good because yeah. he was a bit sort of subversive and bipolar, and he was a weird, surreal mix because he, he had basically lost his mind because they murdered his girlfriend, didn't they? And yeah. he he'd gone into like a, a, a sort of a, a, a manic. Yeah, kind yeah. of depressive state, it's and I thought his, I thought world, Brandon yeah. was quite impressive in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like that that stuff. Yeah, he really prepared for that yeah. a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the thing is, sometimes in some movies you see really those character, only those types. And I was in the Thai series like that. You're only angry, yeah. or you're only happy, yeah. but there's no transition. Yeah. Like hey, yeah. the subtle things they don't yeah. want that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even if you do, the director say, no, you gotta be really crazy. Yeah. yeah. I said, but I already was crazy. He had no yeah. more crazy. Like, ah, yeah. oh, like screaming. Yeah. Yeah. So it you, looks funny, but it's okay. Yeah. So you, you find that with the ties, they want things to be very loud. Yes. Right? They're very bright, yeah. very in your face. Otherwise, ties aren't going to get it. Yeah. Whereas, you know, obviously, foreigners understand the subtleties and the, the kind of more subversive, lateral thinking. You know, they, yeah, they, yeah. They, Even they, the small thing with the eye, like this, it's yeah. already enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah. But in Thailand, it's like, ah, yeah. oh, like. <laughs> well, I, it's amazing though, because I think all those years ago, even Bruce knew that he was—he was, you know, in, for an Asian, certainly in China at the time. He, he knew, didn't he? Even at that level. Oh, he knew he, it. Even he could in do those many days, types. He, he knew. Just even when he, he, when could, he touched his nose with his thumb. You know, yeah. Like it said so much. Yes. You know, just slapped his leg. I mean, I really like the scene yeah. where the dragon, where he was really emotional in with Chuck. He didn't want to kill him, you know, but he was yeah. forced to by the the dealers. And you know, at one minute he was raging, and the next minute he was very subtle and very caring. Yeah. And, it's like in Fist of Fury where he jumps out of the, where he kills that guy and he kind of looks up at the sky because yeah. he didn't want to do it, you know, yeah. and he kind of, he sort of has, yeah. this, he goes from this yeah. rage state to this sort of depressed, mm -hmm. sort of, um, almost kind of, yeah. you know, sure. surrealist yeah. sort of. Yes. Then we're talking about a very good actor. This just, is, this is skill. Just yeah. went from one level to yeah. another level in 10 seconds on, sure. and he just did it all himself and he just knew. Yeah. That's yeah, why he, he was that successful. Yeah. It's very, very... Hey, what I think about the movies right now, I see a lot of action movies now in the cinema and with the guns. And first of all, all those covers, they all have a guy with a gun like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's already what I would never do. Why it's always the same? And so many mafia drugs related, and why there's no pure action movies really for the heart, like the Rocky movies, the yeah. even dance things like Fame and yeah. the breakdance movies. Why? Right. Something more uplifting, right? Yeah, it's, it's uplifting. All it's, very, all it's all gone very dark. Terrorist and, and shooting, know. and it's almost like preparing for something. It's, it's like the frown and the gun and the guy, you know. The, yeah. Yeah. It's always like that. I, I, I love to change that. I have a script that's totally different, motivating. And because all this, yeah. I, I, I hate it. To I, be honest, I, I hate it. No, I agree yeah. with you. I hate yeah. it. It's yeah. always the same I, shit. I, 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 I quite, yeah, sorry, <laughs> be I, honest. I quite enjoyed Only the Strong because I thought that was quite, I had some moments that were quite yeah. nice yeah. in that. And the, capoe awesome. the capoeira was amazing as well. Yeah. 
but um, I just thought that was quite uplifting, quite positive. You Absolutely. Know? They, they, everything the they were doing, they were doing for a reason. Yeah. So I thought that was quite an interesting film. Yes. Mark de Castos. Yeah. yeah, he's great. But even the Rockies, I mean, why the Rocky movies is good? If you look at the choreography of the boxing, it's quite simple. But the whole story and the motivation why he's yeah. fighting is so good. You want to see yeah. that again. You, want, yeah. you just want to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the key to yeah. what I'm going to use. Yeah, it's a yeah. transition, isn't it, from like yeah. you know the fighting sequences to the emotional relationships yeah. that fuel well, the action. They fuel yeah. the action. And yeah. It's a transition, and, and it's he, expressing that. Right? Things yes. Rocky transcended a lot of things. He went through all the emotions, didn't he? He went from loser yeah. to winner, back to loser again, back to winner. And I think that 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 ride really yeah. really yeah. inspires people. Yeah, the underdog, yeah, they're coming up, and but even the kickboxer and the blood sport, it's so much passion in those movies. I don't know what's happening le recently, the last ten years, what's going on, but maybe we are in a kind of dark age or something. I don't know, but I, the, my goal is to, to try and uplift yeah. it again. That's my goal. Yeah, cool. Yeah. What what do you what do you think of um, like? We go back to sort of real fighting yeah. as well. Like, what do you think of the MMA? How do you think? What do you think of martial arts developing now, Ron? Well, it, I think it's quite great. I mean, if you look at uh, the popularity of MMA right now, um, it's 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 great. It's like it's very popular, almost more popular than soccer right now. Yeah. I think it's uh, and yeah. all those new fighters coming up. And, yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you have a favorite a favorite fighter from the MMA or, uh, or you know who who do you yeah. like who do you I like Fedor I like uh, Mirko Kroko I like him he's from the older days but he's uh, he have some good kicks as well I don't like people who only do grappling I like the all round guys who can yeah. be like the striker yeah. and the grappler yeah, yeah. also the guy named Mashida you know Loyote yeah, yeah. Mashida yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I love it yeah. yeah. You know, you know John Jones? Yes. John Jones. Yeah. He's pretty awesome, right? Yes. Dangerous guy. Yeah. yeah, actually I love all of them because yeah. respect to be in that ring or in that in that cage. Yeah. It's like respect. Man, for sure. Yeah. This stuff. It's almost like we're going back to the gladiator period almost. Yeah. 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 And the women, the women are coming up in it as well now. Yeah, 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 that's a new thing, yeah, some women coming as and well. And it's transcended, it's kind of gone to another level where it's become like, you know, you'll talk to a girl in, in, a, a, you know, in the street somewhere and she's like, you know, what are you doing? Where well, they used to go and play badminton, now they're going to do it, they're going to the MMA classes, you know, and they're, yeah. they're doing it as well. I know some actresses as well, they yeah. do MMA classes, yeah, they love it, yeah. Such a high fitness level, I mean, uh, George yeah. St. Pierre, I mean, some of the stuff he's doing is incredible, just yeah. gymnastics, you know. And, Sometimes it's easy for spectators, right? To say, oh, come on, uh, beat him. Yeah, hit him, punch him. If you're yeah, on the is. ring for three minutes and then a few rounds, this is tough. For sure. Yeah, combined with the, the, the fear and the, you always, everybody has fear. Even if you're good, there's always some unconscious fear that eats away from you. That's what Rocky talks about in the movies, right? That it's real. And just the pressure, you know, all those yes. people, the cameras. I mean, even if you're really good, that yeah. can be distracting. Oh, so many factors, yeah. Maybe you slept not good last night, or you have problems with your girlfriend, or... That's the thing in Thailand, though. <laughs> there are many good, talented people here, but a, a, a percentage of the, the actors here are being distracted from girls or the nightlife, which is great here, and it takes away from your career, yeah, because they get into it too much. <laughs> eats them alive and they lose it literally yeah. I got a guy coming came from Holland actually he's a lovely guy very nice he was my student and I won't mention his name but he came here and he got into the nightlife a little bit and uh, he, he started to not go in training anymore and, uh, and he asked me to still join for the nightlife I said sorry I have to go training you know? but uh, he, he stayed into that yeah, yeah. And he came home late and uh, yeah he got a little bit sick so Thailand's uh, yeah I've been there <laughs> is that well, Ill, it, 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 I mean you you know obviously you, when you came back to Thailand you came here for a reason you, yeah, do you, yeah I mean you you really have yeah. all the places you've been yeah you, is Thailand the place yeah. that you yeah. love the most and why why you know why do yeah. you stay here to be very honest I mean let's not talk uh, let's not I will not lie to you I know all those dirty places I know it all I've seen it and I know what it is and uh, I got some Dutch guys I showed them they were shocked 
you got to know. You got to see what it is. You, you know. So, if you know the cake and you eat of it, you, right? You don't want to eat it anymore. If you if you know what it is, else you will always ask yourself, well, what is this place? What are they doing there? But Thailand is so vibrant. It's a great place, and uh, I know what it is. But I know how to stay out of that, right? You got to stay focused. Uh, you know, you, you got to know where your real heart is because it's it's eating from you. It takes away. Yeah, you can't have it. And if you look at some places, if you look at real the people there, are they really happy? They're drinking beer, they try to get drunk and have some girls there. And uh, It's nice maybe for one day, but for every day, that's, that's, I'm happy with my wife and my son. Yeah, because I think with yeah. this, this energy, it, it can, you can use this energy in a very positive way to fuel you in the right direction, yeah. or you can go the other way and it can, you can get quite dark with it, can't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. It can help you or it can destroy you, really. Yeah, it can help you to have uh, some great days and nights, and it's amazing, really. I, I, yeah. Thailand is amazing. Not anywhere else you can do some yeah. of the stuff you can do. But you need stability yeah. to be fit, and your mind got to be clear. And I believe in energies, right? So if you are in a people where a lot of people are out of balance, yeah. it, it takes you out of balance as well, unconsciously. Sure. So you got to stay in a, yeah, I agree. In a good I agree. environment. And my wife is like a Buddha. She is like, she has these small praying things in the house, and she's like... And it's great. Yeah. I see her doing that. I, I love her every day for that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, that was the other thing I was going to get onto is because you're quite a family man, aren't you? Bob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I see, yes. I see some of the other guys again. No yeah. names mentioned, but yeah, yeah. I know, I know quite a lot of them. Hmm. And like you say, some of them have gone on a, another path. Yeah. But they're very glamorous and they're very kind of, you know, they have to image yeah. whereas you're a bit more grounded and a bit more do you think that's because you're older or do you think that's just because the way you are or, or what do you think that is i think i always was like that of course everybody have some curiosity and uh, an adventure in life that's what life is about uh, yeah i had some girlfriends before i will not lie about that and i saw some stuff here in thailand right yeah. i won't lie about that but that's why I, why i appreciate my wife so much now because yeah. she's an amazing girl she's honest and She's a little bit like a Buddha, right? Like I said. Yeah. And, uh, she's not like Miss Thailand. Yeah. But she is so much inner power. This girl is... I fall in love with her every day. That's why I marry her. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, because it's nice to have that, that foundation, isn't it? I think every... every yeah. Especially men, we need that, don't we? We need that direction. You yeah, know she's I mean? a great mom, and just seeing her with my son, it's like... Mm. That's yeah. what you want. Because we're all getting older, we're all getting ugly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you have a Can't wife do doing so great with your family, it, it's when I'm tired, she brings you some food and you say, Are you okay? And I uh, give some massage and stuff. Yeah. Foreign girl would never do it. You say, Do it yourself. True. Right? Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. a great place. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, also, you're, I mean, you've, you're involved in graphic design, aren't you, yeah. as well? I find that quite interesting because obviously that's what I do. I know. And we, it's funny that we both are involved in sort of some of the same things. Um, what, how, how, how does that come about? Is that something you've always done? or? I think to be creative is always good. And I, I believe in destiny as well. It actually fits together very well to the, keep the mind developing, like programming and designing, yeah. and do the physical thing. But if you're only pumping iron, right? I think something is a lack in here. You, you got to like Bruce Lee. He was very uh, busy with his mind and as well. It's all connected. It's all connected. I'm making movie posters, movie websites for actors, uh, action directing, which involves a lot of graphic knowledge, right? From the angles and stuff. It all comes together. You have an eye. Yeah. And when your mind is tired, your body can do something. And when your body is tired from training, you go behind the computer. It's all in balance. Yeah, because I saw your logo. I was really impressed mm. on the card. Oh, thanks. I really like that. Yeah, it's nice. Because oh. I mean, obviously, I you know that's what I'm, I'm involved in. And yeah, you you know about it. I think yeah. it's nice. Like like you say, when you set things up, you know the angle, how to have an eye. And again, that's what Bruce had. He he knew, didn't he? He knew. I mean, I think everyone yeah. has to sort of yeah. talk about Bruce because he's just affected everyone, hasn't he? Yeah. And all the MMA guys talk about him and. Yeah, I mean, oh, you yeah. I, I see his picture every day on something on Facebook. He's just there, isn't he? He left something behind, and uh, yeah, that's what I think. I think people in the media should do. They should leave something behind to motivate others. Something positive. Yeah, not only shooting people in your movies and uh, be leave something behind. Give people some passion. Yeah. 
that's why I try to answer as many people as I can. Sometimes it's hard. I got some birthday wishes yesterday. Yeah. I couldn't reply all of them, but yeah, I love to. I say I love you all because I know what it is to. I, I'm again. I not have a rich family. I had to build it up from from very very little, <laughs> yeah little. So I appreciate every moment. Uh, every day, sometimes I have to squeeze myself like one. Man, you're living your dream, yeah. right? Yeah. Some people talk like, yes, but you didn't get there yet. Yeah? So what is, what is that, being there? What is being there? I mean, I, I work with nice people and, and uh, I'm very happy. Yeah. yeah. It's not a bad life really, is it? Yes, doing this every day, for me, that's, that's the goal. Yeah. On the path, being on the path, doing this every day, training, do movies, yeah. make some short movies, improve your acting it, it's all personal development yeah yeah do you do a lot of spiritual stuff from? yes yeah i'm very spiritual uh, some people even think i'm a little bit conspiracy related but i have a very open mind uh, i'm very spiritual actually i i that's why i never feel alone that's yeah. another subject never feel alone yeah that's interesting because there's more than we know yeah. and uh, i believe in energies as well like like you can connect with some people around you and it's good to be sensitive. Sometimes it's not good because if you, I mean it's good, but, but I, I can use it in a way that it's, it's good for work. I can feel people thinking about me, I can feel people not happy about me yeah. and I can adjust it. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I sense it from, from, okay, there's something wrong with me and this guy, I have to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm interested in that. Will, Will's very much into that as well. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be putting a lot of that on the website as mm. well. It's quite interesting. I know John's quite fascinated with that stuff as well, isn't he? Yeah, John. Oh, yeah. Adelsky. John Adelski. He's, uh, he's in the movies as well for many years. And yeah. he is like a philosopher. Yeah. And he actually, to be honest, John Adelski, he taught me a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, about take responsibility for yourself. Whatever you do, even if somebody steals your credit, right? Right? Okay, I'm responsible for that because uh, it was me working with this guy, right? Some fulfilling, yes. calm, calming energy It's me, energy so that it's all back. good. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. blame him, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, because of that, I got so much stronger in a lot of things. I'm very thankful. I have to send him some chocolates and flowers, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I should make a video for you. I'll make chocolate for you and flower, right? Nice. You went back into your character then. <laughs> We're just having a quick talk about John Will. Will knows. That was him on the phone. John Ladelski, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, said, he, said, <laughs> yeah. he said to say hi you see? to you. Yeah. Now, see? Now he was on the phone. We all connected. We talk yeah. about him and he's calling. Yeah. We talked about him and he yeah. called. This is the perfect example. No, he said, say, yeah. say hello to Ron. Yeah. Me, you, know. you see? Yeah, yeah. They say buckalo in Thailand, right? Buckalo, like a bird, he, he fall down. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, and this is the bird who fall down. It's like the, on the head. You see it in all the TV and the comedies and stuff. They, that's yeah. why they always hit oh, like that's this. What it is. Buckalo. Yeah. yeah, it's like a kind of word. I think it's like got something which comes down on you, pop like this. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, because yeah. I've noticed that a lot of the head slaps. You know? yeah. 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 Normally it's the top, top, but I think it's also bird cologne. Yeah. It's from Isaac. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thanks Ron. I think that's been good. Well, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Anytime, yeah. yeah. I can talk to you for hours uh, <laughs> okay. about this stuff, but uh, it's great. And great to meet you. Yeah, man. let's really, keep the really good nice spirit. Yeah. yeah. yeah.